Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm dropping another impromptu review on y'all. This time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the BAM. This is the Will Done Stainless Steel Mixing Bowls, the five-piece set with um, lids. Now, the reason why I like these um, mixing bowls is because if you can see here in the picture here, that not only do you have the lid, but you have the rubber on the bottom. So it's not just a regular stainless steel mixing bowl that could just be sliding over the table. It's got the rubber on the bottom, so you got a little grip. So when you're sitting there and you're trying to stir and turn, it's not going to be sliding. It's not going to be sliding all over the place. It's going to kind of like sit there so that way you can actually get a good stir and don't have to worry about trying to hold it in place really hard while stirring. You got a little grip on there. So, you know, most um, non-porous uh, or porous surfaces, I would imagine, i say non-porous surfaces, it should grip to pretty well. Um, like, um, like faux wood or like granite or, you know, you know, most laminate, uh, uh, laminate, uh, countertops, most countertops are non-porous. So you're good there. So enough about that. Let's get into this. This is what it looks like on the front of the box. There's your little logo, your artwork, stainless steel mixing bowl. Get ready for, um, a styling kitchen work. Um, must be made in China um, because of the way that the English is worded. Because um, uh, I, I don't, I don't know any person who predominantly speaks English that would word it like that. Get ready for a styling, a styling kitchen work. Um, I would probably say get ready, ready for kitchen work in style, or get ready for. Uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, there's that side. Here's this side. This shows you all the sides. You got eight, five, three two and one and a half quart containers. That would be the eight, five, three, two, and one and a half quart size container. Last front, I mean, la I mean back side, same as the front, front. Left side, same as the right. The top, just got some artwork there. And the bottom, nada. Got your little barcode here, right there. And look, I was right, it is made in China. It says it right on a barcode. Look at that. All right. so. Let's just get ready in this bad boy. Let's see what we're working with. Keep in mind one-handed operation peeps. Kind of bear with me. You know you got the wobble dee wobble dee wobble wobble, wobble situation going on. Let's see, I'm just gonna see if I can just slide it on out. Okay, nothing else in the box there. Just set that in the background like that. Okay, we got our lid situation popping here. These are the lids, shiny on the inside, kind of non-reflective on the outside. Got your little handles, or so that way you can like get your fingers in there to peel the lid off. I imagine the way they're designed are probably slightly um, um, leak-proof, but we'll get into that once we open them up. This must be the five quart one because this one's bigger, and this is the eight quart lid. So, eight quart, five quart. There's one lid there. Eight quart, five quart. Oh, okay. Three quart. Two quart. One and a half quart. Bong. Okay, so those are the lid, that's the lid situation. And here goes the bowl, one inside each. Okay. One and a half quart bowl. This is what she looked like. Shiny on the inside, non-reflective uh, non on the outside. Rubber on the bottom, see what I'm talking about? Like I'm pushing this bad boy. This bad boy is gripping to the See, I'm actually shaking. If you can see, I'm shaking the table because it's gripping the table. So that's what you want, especially when you're trying to get like a heavy mix going on there. You want as much grip because uh, just an all metal thing, it'll be literally just sliding across the table just like that. See, look at this, no effort sliding across the table. This right here, it's not letting me push it because it's gripping. Okay, so, oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and put the lid on this bad boy. See, we 
Okay, this pushes down pretty hard, so I think this might be a little um, leak proof a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out at the sink. See how leak proof this is, because this kind of this can went on pretty hard. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this over to the sink and uh, check see how leak proof it is. All right, so that was the one and a half quart. Here goes the two quart right here. Here goes the three quart right there. You can see the three quart is clearly bigger than the two quart, which is also bigger than the one quart. I'm backing up so you get a better perspective there. Okay, and now we got, and now you see the backdrop is the eight quart drawn. But inside the eight quart, we got the five quart. Five, three, two, one and a half. And then in the back, we got the big daddy, the big behemoth, the eight quart. Okay, so now you can see. Eight, five, three, two, one and a half. All right, so now that you see the sizes, I'll go ahead and stack them inside each other. And I'm going to take this one over to the sink and we're going to put some water in there and see how uh, leak proof that I uh, think this is. So uh, see you on the flip. Okay, we back in. We got the one and a half quart John here, the lid. We got the back at the sink. Now you see down there, you got the Rubbermaid Brilliance down there. Um, I just did the review on that. And um, that's 100, they, they uh, said on the box, they advertised on the box, that that's 100% leak proof. And it actually is. I'll put the link to that in the description in case you're interested in that. But let's get back to this, the Will Done mixing bowl set. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in here. Bong, like so. Go ahead, turn the water off, that's enough water. Then we're gonna put the lid on, make sure it's all nice and sealed up. Okay, make sure, nice air, get all the air out. We seal it, sealed all around. Make sure there's no water on the containers. And as you see, it's all sealed. All right, so here we go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Try not to shake my camera when I shake this. See if any water comes out. Got it upside down. No water is leaking out anywhere. So this is pretty leak proof. I'm gonna say um, definitely. Um, it's coming up a little bit right there, but so I wouldn't say this is 100% leak proof. I would say this is 90% leak proof. And the main reason why I would say that is because this is coming up. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just this one. If all of them do that. Um, so I would say this is leak proof enough to put it in your fridge and keep stuff, keep keep all the air out of stuff as much as possible. Keep your, you know, some soup in here, um, things like that. But I wouldn't like fill this up with whatever liquid and then travel with this um, because uh, you might find yourself with a mess. But um, for just like in your kitchen and storing stuff in the fridge, like leftovers and stuff, and you're trying to keep air from getting to it, or you're trying to keep the liquid in with a light, nice lid on it, um, this is perfect for that. And like I said, you got on the counter, you got the rubber, got the rubber grip on the bottom. This bad boy's not moving anywhere. You know, that's the whole purpose they put that on there, and that's the main reason why I got these. Um, yes, these are a little bit more expensive than um, than the. Uh, than regular stainless steel containers, but you know, I didn't pay for them anyway. You know, I used my points. You know, I I touched on that with the um last video, um how I used my points to get this. So you um I could put I'll put the link in the description where you can get it. Oh, and right here, look, it's etched on the side the uh, the uh, size one one and a half quarts. So I imagine all the other ones have it have the same etching too. So that's pretty cool. The logo with the size of the bowl. So, um, yeah, I would say definitely cop that. I will put the links in the description to all of that. I'll put the links in the description to the Brilliance, the Rubbermaid Brilliance storage containers. I'll put the links in the description to the Shop Your Way, Gas Buddy, um, all that stuff. So that way you can partake and you can earn some points. Maybe you can uh, get this for free also. Um, and when I say free is I use my points that I've earned to get them. Um, I wasn't provided this by the manufacturers. I got this with my own earnings. So I just want to point that out there. So with that being said, I'm Nez. This has been an impromptu review of the 
well done five piece stainless steel storage um, or mixing bowls. I'm Nez, cop that, and I'm out this piece.